marriage. Hmm. When I was, I don't know, eight, I ran around constantly with toilet paper on my head. Fashionable? Not so much. But the stuff made a mean veil. I mean, what little girl doesn't dream about her wedding day? The dress, the hair, Madonna as your maid of honor. Yeah, like I said, I was eight. But the most important part of that dream was always the prince standing next to you. The gorgeous, kind, adoring prince whose job was to love you forever. Not pelt you with threats to keep that ring on your finger. Sometimes, though, there really is a prince. And he really is handsome and kind and adoring. And happily ever after isn't just a dream, but a reality within your reach. Until it's not. Because a choice was made. Which choice exactly, you're not sure, but you do know it can't be undone. And instead of walking down the aisle towards your shiny new life, you're gasping last breaths of your old one. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, it's not all dark and depressing. If built on love, respect, marriage can be a beautiful thing. A comforting thing. The only thing. Love, honor, protect. Sounds easy enough, right? But what happens when your prince, the one who promised to love you, honor you, protect you, becomes the thing you need protection from? so early never too early to start a new day and I'm fired up to start mine